Hey everybody, I'm Dave, and today we're going to talk about cutting the cord and killing cable TV services. We'll talk about how to harness free, over-the-air, local channels using an antenna. We'll also talk about how to supplement all the premium content that you used to get when you had cable TV. We'll talk about how to get your program guide and a DVR solution. I'm going to show you some web tools and hopefully give you the confidence to figure out what size antenna you need to purchase. We'll use a compass to find out where to place your antenna. I stopped paying the cable companies f over five months ago. I started using a service called Aero, which provided me with live TV and DVR services. But the Supreme Court shut them down because they said that they were too much like a cable company. I use hardware like Roku and Apple TV and Google TV as well as Chromecast. I use services like Netflix and Amazon Instant Video and browser content. I have memberships to private torrent sites as well as private streaming sites to get all my movies and TV shows. The cable company charges you a minimum of $30 for local channels and about $130 for premium packages. So let's do away with the cable TV services. We only need internet service from our cable company. As far as telephone, I use NetTalk. It's a little device that you buy and you pay a very minimal yearly fee for it. And it connects over your Wi-Fi, so it's a voice over internet provider. That saves me a lot of money. Speaking of cable TV services, did you know that they compress their data so small because they're trying to get telephone, internet, and cable TV service through one little wire and deliver it fast to all their customers. This degrades the quality. It looks nice, but when you see the beautiful quality you get from an antenna, you're going to be pretty surprised. Let's start by going to tvfool.com. Now this is a great website because it gets you a lot of tools that you can use, uh, like a TV signal locator and this will allow you to put your address in and plot how high you're gonna have it off the ground start out with 10 feet and because that's what you're gonna do when you get your antenna at first you're gonna put it around 10 feet you're gonna point it in the direction this white website tells you and then you're gonna test it out and see if it works then you're gonna raise it up maybe put it on the roof or on the chimney like I'm gonna do I'll make sure I film it and uh, this is going to just be perfect for you. Now we're going to use a compass because the compass uh, on an iPhone, uh, you just spin it around like this. It's best to use a real compass uh, only because, uh, you know, it's more true and accurate. But this is pretty accurate. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take your needle and you're going to point it at the red mark right over here. So there is north for me that's to my right a little bit diagonally to my right and uh, I have it flat on the table so let's start now by naming our report and then we're gonna go in and put in our address and I recommend doing just the five digit zip code um, and then also you put in the 10 feet that you're gonna do and then you find local towers. So now that we have our compass all set to north, we're going to get our report. Now let's slide up our report here. Now in this report, you're going to see different factors. All right. First, they're going to tell you the call sign. Then they're going to tell you the real channel. They're going to tell you the virtual channel. Because when you have digital over-the-air TV, when you hit the remote, you get these weird numbers like 25.1, 7.1, instead of the usual channel 5 or 30 or whatever you have in your town. Uh, so you got the network here, and then you have all other parameters. Now it tells you the distance to the towers. So you look, take a look at the list, and you see all the channels that you want. So I want ABC, CBS, PBS, and, and Fox, and NBC, and CW, and Telemundo so I can watch those uh, soccer events and you see that it's all pretty much in this area here so the true 
north. Uh, if you look at the degrees, you'll see that it's 62. Uh, CW is about 65. And it's on average about 63. So you go to your compass and you take a look at it. Now that you're facing true north, you go and see what 60 degrees brings you. So 60 degrees for me is going to be further down. Uh, you really can't tell on here, but if you look at the phone, you, you'll see 60 degrees is pretty much behind me uh, to the right. It's hard to tell on this uh, because it just shows the orientation and portrait, and you're not really seeing the true tilt of your phone. But when you have your phone in front of you, 60 degrees for me is back there. Now, I uh, where I plan on putting it, I did the compass there, and it points exactly to some sort of telephone pole so that when I get my guy to go up on the roof, and I recommend if you don't want to climb the roof and get on the ladder, hire somebody, hire a painter, hire a chimney guy, hire a guy who does satellite dishes and things like that. So get somebody to go up there unless you want to do it. Go ahead and save yourself some money. Uh, but for safety, I'm going to get somebody to do it, and especially because I'm 300 pounds and ladders don't uh, go well with me. I'm going to have somebody put, uh, probably my father-in-law, put it right there at 62 degrees. So I have it on my porch now. Let's go take a look at it, and we'll see that I'm pointed in that direction. Then I'll show you the quality and the channel reception, and it's going to convince you to do it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now, in the next video, after this one, we're going to do the little DVR box. I'm buying the Tableau, and what I like about the Tableau is that it's a box that you connect to the antenna, you connect it to your network, and then all of your devices and TVs can connect to it. When you buy other sort of DVR boxes, you have to connect it to one TV. And that's not good because I have multiple TVs in my house and I think a Wi-Fi like server kind of thing is better. And the Tableau I think is going to be good. That's in the mail. It's on its way. I'll also do a review about that. So let's go take a look at where I have it. All right, so here it is. I have it crudely hanging from a uh, rod that holds plants. Uh, just to test out the unit, I want to make sure before I start buying DVR boxes and things like that that I actually can even get channels because it's pretty far. Uh, it's uh, The tower is uphill and uh, who knows what kind of buildings and stuff like that. So just imagine when I have this up on the roof, uh, how much better it's going to be. Uh, and as far as how it is, uh, it's very good. So anyway, I got the wire crudely running to my office here on the side of the house, uh, facing north, somewhat north. And uh, my son's in here. He's watching uh, the World Cup, Germany and Algeria. And, uh, you know, he's got his own YouTube channel, iGooey Penguin. Go subscribe, not to you for me. No, 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 both of us. No, no, not just me. Yeah, yeah, he does uh, Minecraft and iOS games and stuff like that. All kinds of games. All kinds of games, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, let's see what kind of channels we're going to get. Now, before you connect your coax cable, I recommend hitting the menu button on your remote. Now, you have to have a TV that has a built-in uh, tuner. So you hit, hit the, uh, the menu button, and then if you just go to a section that may be called tuner, then you put it to antenna, and then you do an auto channel scan. Now, run a scan without the coax attached, because you want to reset pretty much everything. Then connect the coax to the TV, if you have a built-in tuner, of course, and then hit auto scan and it will auto scan uh, using the signal from the antenna and it'll pick up all the different channels that you may have so we'll let this do its thing and then I'll come back when it's almost done okay now the scan is done we have a hundred percent completion it's found 32 digital channels and one analog channel now keep in mind, I have this 10 feet off the ground, crudely hanging from a, a, a hook. So it's really not uh, the best perfect result. But now we can hit the menu button to escape. And now let's see what we have for channels. So we'll start with channel 2-1.
forecast and our weather blog there as well. Well, angels, most of them are gone now. For me, it was like... Involved in a melee of fr fracas with police officers. Was it ever a point of contention ever? So with the combination of an antenna, a Tableau DVR and program guide box, and your net talk for your telephone services, you can get rid of at least two out of the three service you get from your cable company. And the combination of legit apps as well as non-legit apps, you can get all the movies and TV shows that you can't get with the antenna. So I hope this video helped you out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out the other playlists that I have for cable cutting. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you.